Hey, who's the faction here? Back again with another video. And we have been getting a lot of uh, questions on the Nexus Mods forum where I uploaded my mod menu. People are. A lot of you seem to be having issues with installing my mod menu, getting it running, that sort of thing. So I'm going to quickly go over exact, the exact steps that I took to get my. Bepinex and mod up and running. So just follow along with these exact steps and everything should work fine. It's quite possible that the pre-configured Bepinex package for TCG car top simulator that's offered in Nexus mods might somehow not be compatible with my mod in some way. Maybe there's a config file that or maybe multiple config files that are messing things up. So let's go ahead and just show you how I went about setting things up so that you can copy what I did and hopefully get things working on your end. So you can enjoy my mod menu. So first you want to go to the Bepinex GitHub here. I'll link this uh, exact page in the description so you can get here yourself. So you want to get to this version of Bepinex here. It's the latest one. So you'll just come down here and most of you are going to use the 64-bit package. That's a file here. Windows 64-bit. If you're on Windows, 99% of you are going to be on 64-bit system now. Because it's the future. Like nobody's on 32-bit, which is this one anymore. So, for a vast majority of people, go ahead and download this. If you're on, if you're in the minority using a Mac or Linux or whatever, pick the appropriate zip from here. But this will be the Windows tutorial. Just for the sake of example, to get you guys up and running. So, if you download this zip file. I already have mine on the computer so you, you'll get that downloaded and you'll get it extracted to wherever you want to extract it I extracted mine here as you can see you get a folder like this it'll contain all these Bepinex files here you'll just grab all these copy and then paste it into the root directory of TCG Cardshop Simulator. So inside your Steam uh, games folder where all your games are at, you just click here, get into the root directory, and drop all of these files. You drop all of these directly into here. So once you got those in here, Um, and you'll notice you won't have as many of these folders in here because they don't show up until you've run the game at least once after uh, copying over the Bepinex files. So go ahead and run your game once, open it up, close it back down, and then you should get all these uh, folders loaded up. So once these folders pop up, first thing you want to do is go in here. Go ahead and edit this file, wherever you want to edit it, notepad, notepad++, plus plus. then you'll change this to true, hide manager game object. So just turn that true, see if there's anything else in here, that might be messing things up. Make sure all that looks the same on your end, but I haven't changed anything except for this line here. So let's make sure that's true. Save it. Save it. Close. Um, this I'll talk about in a minute. 
these are configs for other mods so you, you won't have these in here you only have this one for right now um, so once you change that hide game manager object to true then you'll get my mod Um, alright, well for me, this is my project, so, say you downloaded it, wherever you downloaded it to, you'll copy it, you know, I'll paste it in here, inside WeaponX plugin folder, once again, it's a separate mod that I have in here, um, you can make a folder for the mod if you want, or just have the DLL directly in the plugins folder, whichever way works. They both work just fine, but for me, I made a folder, put it in the folder, just to make things nice. So once you got the, uh, once you got my mod menu in here, then you're going to go ahead and run the game. Run the game once, close it back down. What that's going to do is generate this config file. Inside this config file is the customizable menu hotkey. It's defaulted to insert right now, but you can change it to any other keyboard key you want. So for example, if you don't have an insert key, then just change it to an F key or whatever, whatever keyboard key you want. But F keys are the most common after insert that is but once you have this set to what you want based on the list here save it close it down and then finally go back on, into the game and everything should be good at that point don't mind that that's just the unity explorer mod helps me help me to develop the mod menu in the first place but anyways yeah that's how you get the mod menu working it's at least that's at least the steps that I took to get it going so go ahead and do those steps and it should work fine now what I'm going to do is a little showcasing of the mod menu because it has changed pretty drastically since the last version. If you've been following along, uh, so let me go ahead and get it pulled up. There we go. So we're in here. Let's go to my modding tests, mod testing save. Now, press your hotkey, menu should come up like so. Uh, basically, a big change that occurred was I made a proper drop down menu for the item spotter and shrunk it down to having just this one line of text now select the option and press F5 to spawn it so you'll set the plus change between plus and minus depending on whether you're expanding it or shrinking it back down which is cool all right now just defaults to the first index which is basic card back so you click it, and it'll pop up there. Select what you want. Let's say deck box blue for now. This doesn't do anything, it's just a placeholder for the text to appear on whatever you picked down here. Well, never you mind that. Just click what you want. You use this to open close or it'll close automatically when you click it on uh, a selection so you select what you want 
Come back to the game. Get that five. And back to drops. There's all your goods. And we do have uh do have the new uh, play mats and uh, uh, comic books that were just added. So we got really kick ass Katango leg mat here. One of the new mats that just came out. This is really badass. Basically, uh, this one, these ones right here, new mats, and a new comic books. Um, that's that. Comic books. We got a new comic book here. Nice. Alright. That's cool. Um, yeah. So that's a quick overview of the changes that occurred in the mod menu there. And yeah. That'll do it. So we'll end the video here. Alright. If you liked it, smash that like button. And uh, hit subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my latest hacks and mods. And general all around video game content. And as always, thank you, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.